Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us that a car is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour, but it's speeding a lot. It's going in a 50 kilometer per hour zone. And so a police officer, it takes off as soon as it passes to pull them over and it accelerates at eight meters per second squared. So for part A, we need to figure out how much time elapsed before the motorcycle is moving as fast as the car. And then we need to figure out for part B, how far is the motorcycle from the car when it reaches that speed? So before we do that though, we need to put everything in standard units. We have meters per second squared for the acceleration. So acceleration is 8.0 meters per second squared, which is great. Now we need to put the velocity, the V initial of the car into standard units. We have 80 kilometers per one hour, but we need meters per second, of course. So let's use dimensional analysis to do that. For uh, this, you can change either one first. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to start off with the kilometers. So we want to make sure they're opposite so that they will cancel just like a fraction. So we want meters to be on the top. So now the kilometers will cancel. And in one kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. Now we want to put the hours into seconds. So in one hour, we want to go to seconds. There is 3,600 seconds. You could have gone from hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. It's just saving us a step, but if you get in a pinch on a test and you forget what this conversion unit is, just absolutely go into minutes and then this seconds. So now the hours will cancel and we have meters on the top, seconds on the bottom, which is standard. So now we're going to take 80 times by 1,000 divided by 3,600. So 80 kilometers divided by, or excuse me, multiplied by a thousand to put us into meters and then divide that by 3600 to put us into seconds which gives us 22.22 repeated so we have 22 i'm going to keep a few of those just since this is an intermediate answer just so we're not gonna get the wrong answer for rounding and that is we said meters per second so now we need to figure out the time for part a now for part a we're just going to use the acceleration formula so acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. And we want to solve for the time. So let's move time over there. So we'll have V is equal to acceleration times time. Now we'll divide both sides by acceleration. So now I'll have time is equal to velocity divided by acceleration. If we do those units, what we'll have is meters per second on the top divided by meters per second squared, which will essentially be multiplying by the reciprocal. So we'll be multiplying by seconds squared over meters. So now the meters will cancel. One of the seconds will cancel, leaving us with seconds over one, or just seconds, which obviously is the correct unit. So now to figure out the time, let's just plug in our numbers. So the time is equal to the velocity, which we just found was 22.22 meters per second. And for the acceleration, it said it was eight meters per second squared. So now we have 22.22, 22.22 divided by eight. So that gives us 2.78. So we could round that to 2.8. So we have 2.8 seconds as we just talked about. So that is how long it took for part A for the motorcycle to catch up to the same speed as the car. It hasn't caught up to the car yet. That's just how long it took to go to the 80 kilometers per hour or 22 meters per second. So now let's move on to part B and we wanna figure out in that amount of time, how far is the motorcycle from the car when it reaches that speed? So what we need to do is we need to figure out how far the car went, then we need to figure out how far the motorcycle went and the difference will be how far apart they are, of course. So let's do the car first. That one's a little bit easier because the car is moving at a constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So we're going to use the velocity formula, which is equal to the change in a distance over the change in time. And we wanna solve for the change in time as we were just talking about. So we'll multiply the time over. So delta X is equal to velocity times time. And so the velocity we said is 22.22, 22.22 meters per second. And we'll multiply it by the time that we just found was 2.8 seconds. So that will give us in that time, how far did the car go? 
So we have 22.22 times 2. I'm going to use 7, 8 since it's an intermediate step, just so, like I said before, I don't want to get the wrong answer just from rounding. So that gives us 61.77. So 61.7 meters is how far the car went in that time. So now let's do how far the motorcycle went. So the motorcycle is accelerating. So we have to use a kinematic equation to account for the acceleration and all of the, the components to it. So we're going to use x final is equal to x initial plus v initial times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. So now we know that the initial x of the motorcycle was zero. It was starting out where we're starting the problem when the car passed him, so it's zero there. Now the initial velocity of the motorcycle again is zero. It hasn't sped up to start chasing after the car yet. So the equation is really just x final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. And we can plug in our numbers into that. So we have one half times the acceleration we already said was eight meters per second squared given in the problem. Now we'll use that same time that we solved for up there. So we have 2.8 seconds and we'll square that whole value. 0.5 times eight times the time of two point, I'll use that same 2.78. And that gives us a distance of 30.9, so we'll just say 31 meters. So now, like we talked about, we have the distance for both of them. So now all we have to do is just subtract the two to, to, to get us how far away the motorcycle was from the car. So we have 61.7 minus 31, that is meters and meters, will give us 61.7 minus 31, gives us 30.8. 7 or rounded we'll just say 31 meters so the distance the motorcycle was from the car in that amount of time was 31 meters